What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Track and Ace. It's time! We are here, baby! We are here! Trials time! Tomorrow! Oh! I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna have this up tomorrow, so it might be tonight. Y'all might be watching y'all might be watching this on the same day as, as these events. But it's time. Tonight. Let's get it. It is time. All of that trash talking. All of that trolling is about to go out the window. I didn't put my video up. There, there, there's this uh negative YouTuber. Who has been making all these negative videos about certain track athletes. And one of them was about Abby Steiner. He was actually praying that Abby Steiner don't make the Olympic team. Now, this is the 100. This ain't the 200. But he was really praying that Abby don't make the Olympic team, man. <laughs> you literally got people out there that's praying she don't make it, bro. Like, that's how much hate she got. She, she the Caitlin Clark of track and field, bro. For real, for real. <laughs> But Abby is back out there, man. We ain't seen Abby since the LA Grand Prix. It's been a month. She been she's she's back out there. I'm gonna go over everything, but uh, 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 let me throw this Patreon on up there, man. If y'all want to watch this full race, it will be on the Patreon. Now, some races will be free. Some will be uh uh paid for. It. The very least you need to do is just sign up as a free member because I am going to have some up for free, some of these races. So make sure you sign up at least as a free member um, at the very least. Now, if you got intentions on paying for anything, you can go into the shop tab and actually pay for the individual races in the shop tab if you don't want to subscribe. You just want a one time, I'm in and I'm out, you can do that. It might be a little bit cheaper to just go ahead and subscribe though, you know, um, because you, you won't have to pay for each individual video. But it depends on how you can work that thing out. But like I said, go into the shop tab to pay for uh, some of the... Because like, I don't know right now which ones I'm going to have up for free and which ones I'm going to have paid for during the whole entire nine days of these trials. So I don't know how I'm going to structure it. But some will be under a pay tier. That's just letting y'all know early on. But the least y'all need to go do is go sign up as a Patreon. Go sign up to the Patreon as a free member at least. Support your boy, man. Go, uh, thank y'all in advance if y'all signed up for the Patreon. Let's get into this, man. Let me throw all the names up on the screen. Let's let's go over the lineup real quick. Hold on, let me pull it up. So we got Solera Barnes. We got a bro. We got a good one too. Solera Barnes, Mackenzie Long. We get the first Abby Steiner versus Mackenzie Long showdown, man. Alexis Brown, more like a Kennison is in here, bro. Adriana Tatum. Oh, English Gardner, the Golden Girl herself, English Gardner is in here. Jaslyn Gardner, Abby Steiner, and the class of this heat, Aaliyah Howes, bro. So, interesting feel, right? Interesting feel. Before we go over that thing, let's talk about Abby Steiner first. Then we're going to, I got some closing thoughts for Abby, too. Because this video mainly about Abby, if you haven't noticed. This is an Abby Steiner channel, if you haven't noticed. But, Abby Steiner. So, a source of mass told me around the time of the Grand Prix, when it was after I think I after I put up the video about the Grand Prix, I was told that Abby was not hurt because the speculation that I had was that maybe Abby suffered an injury while she took herself. I mean, while the team took her out of the uh, Jamaican uh, Grand Prix, right? So when she got taken, and that was the weekend before the New York Grand Prix, and then she didn't compete in the New York Grand Prix. So I was like, well, what the hell going on with Abby Steiner? But he told me that he found out Abby wasn't really hurt, you know, that she's going to be ready to go for trials. So that eased myself a little bit. Now, early this week, I spoke to the same source again, and he actually told me, be on the lookout if Abby is going to be in a 100 prelim heat. I was like, Abby going to be doubling? She going to be doubling? You know, trying to double? What? She's going to be doubling, man. She's going to be in this 100, man. We're going to see her out there literally tonight. <laughs> literally tonight, we're going to see Abby Steiner, man. <laughs> we literally going to see Abby Steiner right away. No games. No, no time to wait. Like, right away. And we're going to see her, man. And, and obviously, she's probably doing this to maybe uh, try to get in the relay pool for the 4x100. 
Uh, I think that's another reason I just taking this race, and also to get ready for the two hundred. She probably felt. I think our team probably felt like she needed one more, um, little tune up before the two hundred next week. Get that first one hundred down a little better. I think it's really going to help Abby if she could get out of this uh, prelim and get to the semifinal and really run twice. I don't expect her to get to the final at all. She's not that fast against the other girls to really make it to the final. There's too many deep names on here, man. Just that her group alone, you got a Kennison in here, Mackenzie Long, Solera Barnes, Hobbs. They all might smoke Abby tomorrow, you know, while we playing here. But... I really think, like, I think she's going to do fine. She might make, I'm giving her a chance to make the semifinals. I think she's fast enough. She she actually clocked in. Let's look at her times. She actually clocked in. Her personal best is a 10.90. So, we know she can get a, a sub a sub uh, 11. I'm not expecting it, though. As fast as Hayward Field runs, I'm not expecting it from her. But, in legal win, not, le not illegal win. Illegal win earlier this year in April. She actually ran an 11.05. That shocked a lot of people when she ran at 11.05. She's looking better this year already. If she's running that fast, bro, this could be the best we've seen of Abby in the 100 in two years. You know what I mean? Um, it it kind of, I, I wish my girl Mia Bryant Patterson was in here, but she got hurt a couple of months ago. She's going to focus in on college uh, in the fall, which makes a lot of sense, you know. Um, because I think she's going to be the next great one with the other girl, Mackenzie Long. Let, let, let's turn this over to Mackenzie Long, man. Mackenzie Long, bro. I've been waiting to see this girl back out there this time against some veteran competition. This girl has ran very similar to Abby, 10.91 without the, uh, so with illegal win, 10.80 is a fast time. She got that last year back in March, last season. So she hasn't run anything under 10.91 this year she got that winning the uh college um the collegiate 100 so we know mckenzie's one of the other girls that can run under 11 a sub 11 flat uh 11 flat as well she's a little faster than abby on the 100 but i, I definitely think you know i, I know abby got a 10.90 but I, I think mckenzie's a little faster though but mckenzie is going to be someone I think she's going to punch her ticket with ease to the semifinal. Might even come in second place. Might be the biggest challenger to Aaliyah Hobbs. Let's see how Aaliyah Hobbs been doing this season. Personal best, 10.81, 10.72, uh, legal win. Uh, as far as season's best, she's ran a 10.88. So she's she's looking pretty good, 10.78 and a legal win. So I think Aaliyah Hobbs definitely trying to make up for last year. She didn't make that world championship team, very surprisingly. Trying to get in it. She's one of the girls that I got rebounded and getting a chance to get on that 100 team for the Olympics. She is one of the girls that I got. Um, I, I'm expecting Leo Hobbs to win this field with ease. Uh, I think she's going to crack. Uh, uh, we'll see if she crack uh, under 11. I think she'll crack under 11. I got Mackenzie Long second. And then from there, um, it's going to be dependent on time to see who else gets in there. Uh, maybe Abby Steiner or Kennison, uh, Solera Barnes. You know, you know who not to sleep on, man. Uh, English Gardner, English Gardner, because <laughs> English Gardner could be. She might be able to run. Real, she, I think she did that shit last year, where she ran faster than what people thought she was gonna run. So she could get it some people away. But Solera Barnes is definitely someone I'm looking at as a a problem. But for Abby, man, I think this is good for her. Like. At the end of the day, I think this is good for Abby to be back out there, man. Just being back out there, man. I can't wait to hear Star from Star Run, Las Vegas, a few of y'all. That be on my Abby Steiner videos, man. I can't wait to hear from a few of y'all. Not y'all trolls, though. Not y'all trolls. Hey, man, if you if you been commenting as a troll, it's because I want the smoke. But eventually, I'm going to boot you out, though. Eventually. Eventually. Uh... I do want to hear from a few of y'all, Kawhi, uh, Kobe, uh, laugh. I want to hear from a few of y'all on this, man. Because I, I think that, I just think her getting to the semifinal would be good enough. I'm not looking for her to make the final. She can get to the semifinal at least and race on Saturday and get another race in before the 200. That will be so good for her. And I think it'll bring her confidence up just to even get out of this field in the prelim heats. I guess she's one of the top 16. 
I think it'll really do good for Abby, bro. Just confidence wise, that she knows she can keep up with a 100 field like that. I think she had definitely. I think her confidence will soar through the roof. Now, anything beyond that, if she does a Mia Brahe Patterson from last year where she makes the final, <laughs> if she actually makes the final, bro, man, bro, somebody made a mistake. I'm going to say at least two or three girls made a mistake and Abby somehow get into that final because that should not be happening at all. Jenna Prandini, I went over her too. She's in there too, but she in a different heat. So let me know what y'all think about this heat in the comment section, man. This is going to be very interesting tomorrow, man. I think I think Abby going to run really good, though. I'm expecting her to run. I think her time, I don't think she's going to run a sub 11.10. I think she'll run a, like 11.15, 11.19, like somewhere between 11.15 and 11.20. I think that'll be her prelim time. And that can still be good enough to actually get her into uh, the semifinal. She's going to run faster than that if she get into the semifinal, though. That's probably where she's going to push it to 11.10. Somewhere up in there. Uh, I don't expect to see any sub. Like, if she get it to the final, I don't expect to see anything below 11 until the final. Um, but we'll see how it goes, man. But remember, you can watch this full race on the Patreon, either as a free member or as a paid member. I'm not sure yet if I'm how I'm going to do this race. Probably depends on how Abby does. Because if Abby does well, I might have it on for free. So, if you want to see, hey, why don't we do that? Hey, if Abby make it. It'll be free. <laughs> it ain't making it be free. Deal? Deal? We'll see, man. I might not even do it. I might, not, I might, I might get greedy and just put it on the paywall, man. Uh, but we'll see tomorrow, man. But make sure y'all sign up as a free member anyways if you haven't already on the Track and Ace Patreon, man. There's a uh, link to the description. I mean, yeah, a link is in the description box. Go on ahead and give me your thoughts in the comment section below about this race. Give this video a like, share, subscribe. I will see y'all tomorrow or Saturday to break this down. Thank y'all for watching Track of Days. Watch my other previews uh, as well, guys. Thank y'all.